good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be attempting a brand new custom figure for you guys. As you guys can see, we have Superman in the house. We got John Cena in the house. We have another Superman. And, uh, yeah, we got some John Cena parts. So, if you guys put everything together, you take a look at what we got here. You're probably thinking to yourself, he's probably going to make a Super Cena based off of the thumbnail and based off of everything you guys see right here. And, by God, Brad, I got to tell you, you are correct. We are going to attempt today to create a Super Cena custom custom figure, uh, putting these two figures together. You know, I was at Walmart last night with Face Wife getting some grocery shopping done. I went to the figure aisle, as we always do. You know, you gotta check the figs. You never know what the hell's gonna be on there. So they had a Jeff Hardy basic, they had a Becky Lynch basic, and they had an AJ Styles basic, and then they had the Andrade battle pack. That is it. No elites, haven't had elites for I think a couple months now, or at least a month and a half, I'm pretty sure. So hopefully they restock soon. But while we were there, I went on the, uh, the same figure aisle that has a WWE figures, we saw the DC figures, and I figured, uh, you know, I've watched Shardamus a review of this, I've watched multiple people review this figure of Superman, I thought it was a pretty solid figure overall anyways, so I figured, why not, uh, if it doesn't work out, it'll just go in the collection and just chill on the shelf, but if it works out, I'm gonna make myself a, a Super Cena custom to put on my Super Cena shelf. It's not a Super Cena shelf, it's a Cena shelf, but I guess if John Cena's Super Cena, then I guess that makes sense anyway. Shut the hell up. Okay, so you guys will see here we have this Superman figure, right? And you're looking at this, and you're like, well, damn, Brad, that's a tiny ass Superman. Yeah, that's what I thought too. I ordered this on eBay a long time ago trying to make a Super Cena figure like two years ago. I tried to do this. You guys can see here that clearly uh, they look like they're the same scale, but uh, I don't know, like from this camera angle, you really can't tell, but I mean, look at their feet size difference. Like this figure right here, the John Cena WWE Mattel Elite figures are much bigger than this little DC Superman figure right here. Even though this figure is actually pretty good, I'm not big on the head sculpt. I think it looks a bit cartoony in my personal opinion, but uh, he's got good good articulation. He can fly around and stuff. I really am a fan of this uh, this Superman suit, too. I think he looks pretty badassery. He kind of looks just, uh, I don't know, sort of like modern and classic at the same time. But anyways, guys, here today we are going to be trying to do this again, but this time I think we're going to make things right. I think it's actually going to work out because if you guys can see, this Superman is much bigger. It's much more in scale, so I think a Super Cena or a John Cena head sculpt should fit this figure pretty well. We won't know unless we crack him out of the packaging, so we are going to open this Superman up. We're going to search through my John Cena bag right here and see if I want to switch some arms out. Maybe the arms will fit. I know that uh, Mattel did not make this figure. McFarlane actually made this. You guys can see down there it says McFarlane Toys. McFarlane did make this Superman, so it may not work out. It may look, look stupid as hell. It may not work at all, but you know what? We're going to try. So it's either going to be an epic failure or it's going to be badassery. So what we're going to do, guys, is I'm going to crack Superman out of the packaging and then we're going to search through my little fodder baggie for some arms arms and head sculpt that we want to put on our Super Cena action figure. Then once we decide on the parts, we're going to do the part switching and see if we can actually create a Super Cena custom action figure here on the channel. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to crack Superman out of his freaking packaging. Alright guys, so here is Superman out of his packaging and I gotta say, at first glance, not very fun to pose around. The legs don't have like a thigh cut on them. They are uh, kind of stiff, you know, the feet kind of are wobbly, not wobbly, but like super hard to like get in position and then the knees have like this grinding sound to them. I don't know, they're just not very fluent. It's gonna take some posing around and getting used to with that. But you know, I didn't get it to pose them around all the damn time and fight crime and shit. I got him just to, you know, make a cool creative custom just to see if it would work out. I've been wanting to do this shit forever. So let's try it out, guys. He does come with interchangeable hands, if you guys want to know. For some reason, the Superman has a trigger finger, so he can shoot guys, because, you know, Superman always has guns. Superman has no powers. He just shoots people with guns, because he has so many guns. I don't know why they didn't include him in the packaging. Very unfortunate. And he also has a fist for the left hand, but he only comes with one fist, one trigger-pulling finger, and then two flying pose hands, so that's awkward. And then you have this display stand, which I really appreciate. That's pretty epic. Maybe I can use this for a future thing thing or something or uh, useless. And then he comes with a little trading card with a little picture of Superman right here. Superman on the back, you got some info, Clark Kent, John Cena, yeah. All right, guys, so our next order of business is going to be going through our little baggie right here full of bull crap and getting out the head sculpts and everything and uh, sort of sorting it out and seeing what parts we have and what we're going to use to uh, create this custom. What, you know, what parts we want to use. If I even arm swap it, I don't even know if I'll be able to arm swap it. Maybe we'll see once I heat that hoe up. You guys can see it's already having a little, little trouble standing there. I did put my X-Acto knife in my Dremel just in case we have to Dremel out the head or something. If we have to do some work on it, then uh, I will be prepared for that. But uh, let's go ahead and dump this ish out, and I'm going to sort this shit.
All right, guys, so here is all the Cena fodder all sorted out and all that bull crap right here. You guys can clearly see that uh, we got a ton of Cena fodder. You know, I dedicate that specific baggie for all of my John Cena fodder just so that I can have it for future customs, fix-ups, and stuff like that. You guys know I have the loose box of Elites. Um, the only arms that I really wanted to use were these. I figured that the Elite 3 Cena arms would probably be the best. They look like they would scale the best. They'd have the best colorway and stuff like that. Maybe the red armbands. I need to look right here and see if I can find them. So right here, these two Cena's right here, guys. I found these in my little Cena box. And you guys can see right here, you have the blue on this side and then the red on this side. Um, I'm probably going to use these with this armband already painted on there. Or I may use the other side of the Elite 3 arm here and then the Elite. I see I tried to do this like little fix up where I had them both. But I didn't like that these wristbands were like uneven on the sides. So that really bothered the hell out of me. So I couldn't do it. So I'm just going to use these arms that are on this basic. So uh, I think that will work out the best. So we don't need any of these arms. We're going to clear these arms out, put them on the baggie over here. I'm not going to put them back in the baggie because that would be dumb. And uh, one thing I also wanted to talk about is uh, the hats. Like, he's not going to need a hat, right? I mean, he's Super Cena. He doesn't really need a hat. If I was going to put a hat on him, it would probably be the, uh, probably the, hmm... Probably be the red one, or it would be the uh, the Elite 50 Cena, which I don't have an extra of right here for some reason. So we're going to use these arms, and then we are going to use no hat, but the head sculpt. Now this is where it gets interesting. It's all going to be about which you know is accurate in proportion to the body, and I would feel that uh, either this one right here. Obviously, it needs to be repainted because it looks like terribleness. But this head, the basic 100 head, which is slightly larger, or the Elite 4. 14 head, which is a straight face. Almost vomited a little, if you guys could tell in my voice. Or the defining moments. So these are like our only four choices, I would guess. You know, I don't like any of the other ones. I think these have the best likeness. They have the best look to them. So I'm going to try the basic 100 first because I think it looks the most like Cena. It's got a good haircut on it and everything like that. So I am going to try the basic 100 head sculpt. And uh, so the next portion of the video, guys, is going to be surgery. We're going to do our best. I am going to keep these four head sculpts out, though, just in case we need to repaint or fix up or whatever. I I also forgot about this WrestleMania head sculpt, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put this one in here over the Elite 14, even though I like the Elite 14. You know what? We'll roll with both of them. If if the you know if the basic 100 works, then we don't have to worry about it. So we'll just have to come back to that. But we are gonna use these arms, these heads, and we're done with our fodder. So I'm gonna get this shit out of the way, and we're gonna conduct our surgery portion where we use the hair dryer and all the tools. All right, guys. So the first order of business, I guess, is going to be heating. What the freaking hell is that? Alright guys, so I guess the first order of business is going to be to heat up these things, right? We gotta get the arms off of this. We have to heat up our John Cena head sculpt and our Superman head sculpt. One thing I am noticing is I think the John Cena head is a little bit darker than the Superman, but you know what, Brad? That's okay with me. Let's go ahead and heat up this at the same time. We're gonna heat up this while heating up this head sculpt, while heating up this head sculpt, and we're just gonna heat it all up together. Um, again, you know, best case scenario, it, it's perfect, and worst case scenario, it, it, nothing works like I thought. Alright guys, let's see how this thing goes. Let's go ahead and pop the John Cena arms off first. That way the John Cena arms are completed. My ears are all plugged the hell up. So if I'm yelling for no reason... That's why. But anyways, guys, let's see if the Superman head pops off. Okay, so it does pop off really, really easy. But you guys will see this ball peg right here is really, really tiny. I did not expect that. But you know what? We're going to pop this on here anyways and just kind of see what the hell it looks like on this body. And there you go. It's on there, and it is super duper loose. But, I mean, it's not that bad on there. I mean... Is it? It's it's really not that bad once it's on there. You know, it could sit probably a little bit deeper. I could dremel that in a little bit more, but uh, it doesn't look half bad. It really does not. Um, I did not try the arms just yet, but maybe we need to go ahead and pop the arms off real quick and heat those up, and then uh, we'll see if we can arm swap it. All right, guys, let's find out if this shit's even going to work. Who the hell knows, man? You know, these pegs could be a little bit differently. They are different. I can already see that they're different. Um, so this could be an epic failure, but you know what? We're going to try it anyways. 
and uh, see if this shit comes out or if it works at all or if it just doesn't work at all or it might not work at all and it doesn't look like it's gonna work i don't i don't like that i don't think um i have an idea on how i could make it work but that's just too long like yeah i mean it doesn't look terrible but um the only way you could get it to work is you'd have to you'd have to shave off some of this arm right here this upper arm piece you see that right there uh right in there is kind of where it's getting like that and yeah i'm just not feeling that so we're gonna pop these arms back on here um, it is unfortunate that it will not work completely because I would have really liked to see if it would work. Or I would have liked to seen it work, not, you know, it, it, whatever, whatever the hell I'm saying, Brad. I, I don't know what the hell I'm saying. So why does that one go on, but this one doesn't? You stupid pile of garbage. Ugh. Good God in heaven, you fart bag. Jesus Christ. So one thing I do want to do with the head scan, guys, is I do want to take the Dremel and kind of hollow it out a little bit more because I think that would make it look better because uh, it'll sit lower. Like, look how big that freaking, like, hole is right there. So the Superman figure, like, I don't know, it's just the legs, I think, are what pissed me off. Like, I wish it really had a better, uh, or if I had a thigh swivel, it would be a lot better, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do this right here. You switch out the head of this Dremel right here for this little dig tool, and then you put that in there right there, and then just like so, and then we're gonna dig up in this head sculpt because I really want it to get up in there and create like a little divot. Because if it creates that divot, then, uh, that little ball on the end of this ball joint will go up in there and see like my battery's all dead. Let me switch the battery. Now that's what I'm talking about. Alright guys, I did dremel out the head sculpt. Now the only thing we have left to do is we need to heat this up and then see, because I've created a smaller hole inside of this hole, and I'm going to see if I can get that down on there, and this shit could turn out epic. I'm actually really excited. Let's go ahead and find out. Alright guys, let's find out here. Moment of truth. See, see if we can get this to go. Come on, Brad. Or is it in there? I guess it is already down in there. Jeez, what the hell? So it's sticking down in the hole, like in the second hole, because you can see I'm pulling it and it's not coming off. So it is going down in there. It's just not deep enough, but I don't think it can go any deeper. I thought it could go a little bit deeper, but it cannot. However, I'm gonna stand this thing up and get a little, uh, get a few little poses going and see if like this thing could actually work. I mean, check that out. I mean, I think that works out pretty good, guys, right there. I mean, you know what? It's not perfect by any means, but uh, you know, the head scan's obviously loosey-goosey. I'm actually, I'll probably plug some paper down in there, but just looking at it like that, that legitimately looks like John Cena in a Superman costume or a Superman suit. I think that looks pretty badass. Like you turn it right there, Look at that right there. You're going to tell me that doesn't look like freaking John Cena in a suit, dude. I, I like that, dude. That's that's sick. Well, guys, I think today was a success. You know, again, it's not perfect by any means, and it does flop around a little bit, but you could easily see that this looks like John Cena in the Superman costume, so I would call it a success. You know, the arms didn't work out, but I think the skin tone matches good enough, and uh, I'm going to have a ton of fun, you know, posing this guy around, doing some Super Cena poses, and uh, I'm excited for it, guys, but that is going to do it for today's tutorial, guys. I showed you guys how to do that if you would like to do this yourself. Very simple, you know, you just pop the head off and pop it on roughly. I mean, that's pretty much what it comes down to. Um, we did try to experiment and get some other things going, but that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the Super Cena figure uh, tutorial slash review. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Super freaking Cena, baby. Yeah.